For an artist, which is more important? Natural talent or learned skill? It's a topic that has often been debated and written about. However, I'm unsure if photographer Kat Wilson has entered into too many of those discussions, as she's been too busy nurturing both the talent and skill for herself and the next generation of artists. That's why it was such a pleasure to meet with her for the first time and learn how much she's done. Arkansas is who you are. Uh huh. What What does that mean for you? There's Say different that. levels to it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I bet. So my art, I make mm. art of Arkansas people for mm. Arkansas people. Mm. So when I was in grad school, they would talk about our audience was New York. Yeah. I was like, what? They're not coming to this show. My mm. audience is our neighborhood, yeah. our local folk, you know? When you're capturing something, in a photo, like, are you looking for something? Are you listening for something? I think about, well, you know, I want them to use my photo mm. when they die in the paper. Like Ooh. this is the epitome of who I was or oh. the peak of who I was. I want people to look heroic in my photos. Mm -hmm. I want them to look special, kingly, queenly. Yeah. So like they were on this earth and they were special while they were here. Is there a process you go through when you're engaging with folks to figure out what that image should be, or does it just come to you? So I have a formula, for example, for the habitat photos. Yeah. So what I'm looking for is what in their collection of how they decorated their house mm -hmm. or what's on their bookshelves is going to tell me more mm. about who they are by putting it in the photo. Also, I composition wise, I've got a formula. So there's the triangle. What's the triangle? Oh, you Where can see it. You show, show me. No, oh, I want you to show me. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. There is a good one right there. Yeah. We can even look at it smaller. We can even go here. Embedded triangles body. almost. Yeah. yeah. Not only have you captured a lot in your subjects, but you've seen a lot in your experiences. Yeah. You know, what, what have you seen across the state of Arkansas that you feel like this is the amazing beauty of Arkansas and these are the challenge areas that we have to fix. Yeah, so, you know, I was a teenager in the 90s, of course. I don't know what it was like to be a gay teenager across the United States. So yeah. I don't know if Fort Smith was particularly bad or not. Mm. The thing I really feel like is families who's hard on you. Oh. More than people in society. They could turn a blind eye, they're kind of, well, maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Yeah. The family, I they don't know, don't. they let go of you. They, mm. you know, how could you ever let go of your children or your grandchildren and stuff? So yeah. that's tough. Yeah. So I can't blame Fort Smith and as a place for that. that's what you experienced? Yeah, totally. When I moved to Fayetteville and Bentonville, yeah. it, I like didn't care at all. I mm. would never hold my wife's hand in Fort Smith down the street. But now you hold her hand. I'll hold her hand anywhere now. I love it. You know, and that's changed a lot in the last eight years. Yeah. I never thought gay marriage would be legal. I never, ever. In fact, I photographed the first gay marriage in Eureka Springs. No way. Arkansas Times. But, oh, wow. And I could not believe it when it passed. And Arkansas wow. was the first state in the South. I know, I know. Which that's surprises crazy. a lot of folks. I know. And I'm so and, glad I got to experience a yeah. wedding. And I'm, I'm a scientist and engineer. And I, I fully MIT. understand. MIT. Well, there you go. And I believe in the importance of science and engineering. When, I, when you think about kids and art education in the future, mm -hmm. it, should we have more art education combined with STEM education? What does that look like? And what difference would it make? Well, first, I like how you see the role of the artist mm -hmm. in creating. So mm -hmm. if you think about who writes the future, it's artists who write the That's future. That's true. So, you know, when we envision what a robot looked like, an android and stuff, who wrote it? Or who, a, a writer. That's, that's right. Or the vision of what that would look like. Maybe. So an artist, mm -hmm. right? The thing that I will say is, I don't necessarily think we need more art in the school. Hmm. We need our artists to realize that they need the science. They need the oh. math. They need the art history. Yeah. There's a thing where you kind of, people start teaching artists that they can act the way or be not good at this. You're a better artist with that history. You're yes. a better artist with that math. Which at the end of the day means we all just need to come together. Yes. Like that's how real creativity and change happens. When you think about the future of Arkansas. Uh-huh. You, know, you are tried and true Arkansan. <laughs> no doubt, right? No doubt. <laughs> like, like we both are there. Uh-huh. What do you want the future of Arkansas to look like and how do we get there? Oh man. What would, what do you think? What do you think would make Arkansas look better? What, what, well, you know, what do I, we need in 10 when years? I look at, when I look at what you're doing. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm super impressed by this space. Uh-huh. You've said to artists, let's come together, let's co-locate. Uh-huh. Let's share our skills and our talents. 
And when we can, I think when we co-locate in a space like yours, it doesn't always have to be physical space, but sure. just coming together, uh -huh. that unleashes the true power and potential. Uh -huh. That's what I, I see in this space. Just how giving this opportunity to people who normally wouldn't have gotten it, mm. how they took it and ran with it, didn't just squander it off. Yeah, you know, that's beautiful yeah. because the the idea that you're investing in others by giving them opportunity uh -huh. and then just watching them grow has always been fascinating to me. I know. So keep doing what you're doing. Okay, no problem. It's and, easy. And, you know, one day maybe can I get a photo album or something? Totally. I can. I'll do your best headshot of your life. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. What a great conversation with Kat Wilson. She's someone who chose to stay and bring her amazing talents in the arts to bear right here at home. There are Kansans across the state who are choosing to stay and making a difference in their communities. Find out how we're supporting those Arkansans by going to chrisforgovernor.com.